Welcome back to part four of building a mean app with Cosmos TV. I'm John Papa, and this time I'm going to create Cosmos TV and then deploy it to Azure. The next piece of the app is to go connect the Cosmos DB, and I want to host that in Azure, so I'm going to use the Azure CLI to create all of this. Let's go out to the web and look and see what we need to install the Azure CLI. First, on this page at this URL, you can install for Mac or for Windows. I'm using a Mac here, and I can run this curl command and this exec command by copying over here and pasting it into my terminal. Now, I've already done that on my machine, so I'm going to flip back over and use terminal here. Once it's running, if you type AZ, you're going to see this kind of an output here, showing you the Azure CLI. And here's all the commands you can run. I want to log into the Azure CLI. So I'm going to type AZ login. Now this is going to allow me to do an interactive login. So I can take this code here, and I can copy it, and then I can go out to this URL right there. So I can highlight that, right click, and open URL. It's going to have me enter the code, hit continue. It's going to tell me who I am. Once it does it, it says close your window, and if we flip back over to terminal, in a moment, it's going to let the terminal know, yep, we've logged in, and there we go. Now that we're logged in, I can go ahead and create my resource group. Now, what's a resource group? This is basically a logical container that's going to contain different things or resources that I host up on Azure. So I'll use AZ group here, and then I want to use the create command, and I'm going to name this resource group something like my heroes DB group and I have to tell it where to locate it. So I'm going to use dash L. I want this to be in the Eastern United States. There's a whole bunch of global regions that you can choose. You probably want to choose one that's closest to most of your customers. And boom, there it is. We just told Azure to spin up the resource group and it did it. So now we're going to tell it to spin up a new Cosmos DB. We'll do AZ Cosmos create dash name. And for this group, we got to type in the group we just created. That's the resource group. And then finally, we're going to tell it what kind of database you want, because Cosmos supports multiple models. We want to use MongoDB. So now we run this, and we're telling Azure, OK, in that resource group you just created in the eastern United States, go ahead and spin up my Cosmos DB instance. And I want it to be basically a MongoDB type database. And I kind of like to see it in the portal. So let's go up here to the portal itself. And now I was looking at my Cosmos DB blade, which you can find over here from this cool little logo. I can click in, and it will show me all the different Cosmos DBs I have. Here's the one I just created, my Cosmos Heroes. And when I click on that, we can see where it's located. We can scroll down the region, and you can see the different regions inside these little dots. And there's my East US. Now the cool thing is, if I go down into Replicate Data Globally, check this out. Now I can hover over it, and I can see different regions that I can put it in. One of the options is maybe I've got a lot of customers in Australia. I can come down here in Australia East, and I could click on that. And when I do that, I could then save it up here, and I could do multiple. So I could start selecting multiple of these. And now the data will be replicated all around the world. We'll look more about how we can do failovers and do a little more replication later. So right now I'm going to discard those and just keep it as East US. Be sure to check out the next video in my series where we'll connect the mean app with the Cosmos DB so we can get data live.